Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are going through and answering another one of this fantastic community's questions and that is Sim, in what order should you do the bases now? What do you think is the best order for you to take on the backyard to get the most pleasurable experience from the game and I'm here to teach you guys my order that I plan on going in and what I believe all of you should go in as well so first things first guys you are gonna have to make your way over here into the oak lab in order to rescue burgle activate the hand scanner over here after you blow up the base it's all part of the story you literally cannot progress any further in the game without doing this you need to go through and do the hand scanner in order to do it sorry it's it's a necessity but once you get over here and you have talked to Burgle, you found out your mission. He sends you on a very special mission over to the Hedge Lab. Now, guys, the Hedge Lab is the next lab that you need to go and explore. And this one actually is a pretty good lab in order to start with as your second lab. Inside of this lab, there is going to be all sorts of spiders in here, but these Orb Weavers and Orb Weaver Juniors are a fantastic way for you guys to learn how to do different fighting in the game. There is a Super Burgle Chip right there on that table that you need to work your way all the way through this lab in order to complete. It's not that difficult, but it's a great fighting exercise for you and will get you some of those starter gear. If I can give you guys a tip, make sure on your way over here, you're grabbing all of the spider sacks that you can. Inside of each of the spider sacks, there's actually different bug pieces that can be more advanced tier bug pieces that you can get before you can even finish fighting some of those bugs like bombardier beetles stink bugs and ladybugs so before you guys even can get all of those you can unlock some easy pieces by going through and getting web sacks but where to head after you have finished this base so the next place that i think you guys should have finish or go and do after you've completed this lab is actually making your way back out in the backyard and finding and exploring some of the other locations. You could go through and do the ant hill at this point. You can go through and start building your own base at this point. If you already want to have a base before you go over that base to the to the hedge lab, that's okay. You can do that. Start upgrading. This is where things are going to start to trickle in to be more difficult. You've gone through and you've already done two of the labs, but now you're going to make your way over to the third one. And we are talking the pond lab now the pond lab to me is a very very important next step some people would say go to the haze lab i say no don't do the haze lab yet go down into the pond and do the pond lab for one very 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 important reason that is down here inside of the pond lab there's a very important resource that you can get and other than the fact that the robots aren't that difficult what you can get from over in this pond lab is these giant pink spheres that are over here that are riddled all around the outside of the pond labs dome and that is muscle sprouts muscle sprouts to me are a super 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 important material for you to get early game the muscle sprouts that are in here are going to allow you to make beefy smoothies beefy smoothies are an impeccable thing to have they are so needed because they double the amount of healing that any smoothie gives you. Now, you can even go through like I do for most of my fights and get yourself questionable slop. Going through and getting yourself actual recipes is a better idea, but the questionable slop still works great as a extra healing item better than fiber bandages and better than your standard smoothies now at this point once you have smoothies once you have all of those now it is a good time to start thinking about where you want to go next and where we're going to go next guys is actually over into the haze lab now why do we hold the haze lab so long you guys may be asking why are we holding on to the haze lab and why are we taking it as this one being the fourth base we're going to a couple different reasons one you need a gas mask and there's a lot of infected creatures on your way even to get to the base and you need a bomb in order to unlock the door but two it's where the first boss is i say boss in quotations because the boss that's over here is an infected ladybug this infected ladybug isn't per se an actual boss but nonetheless it's still a trickier thing to fight in the game and is not going to be as easy as say the other labs that only have robots or only have some spiders in them in here you're gonna have to fight infected bugs robots and at the end of it the infected ladybug 
boss. Once you get through that boss, you will be able to go over and grab the third Super Burgle Chip. Notice how you've gone to three different bases now that all have Super Burgle Chips in them. That's because that is where I tend to start. Now, once you've completed this lab and you've gotten the Super Burgle Chip that's in here, you've now done a couple things. You've unlocked the oven. You've unlocked a bunch of crafting recipes. You've unlocked fortified bases at this point. You have some decent armor and weapons, and you've gotten a lot of upgrade materials. After you've gotten this last Super Burgle chip that's in here, you may be thinking, hey, it's a great time to hop on over. Let's go check out this Black Ant Lab. I'm ready. Slow down, cowboy. It's not quite that time yet. Now is a time for you to slow down and get some serious upgrading done. This is the start of the game taking a large difficulty spike. Black Ants, Ant Lions, everything that's down in this sandbox wants to kill you, okay? It's a dangerous place to be. And on top of that, the boss that is at the end of this is an actual really difficult boss to fight. So before you come over here, do some more upgrading, guys. Get yourself more upgraded out. If you can, go over and fight the Broodmother. It's not a bad time to make your way over and go and do the Broodmother at this point. It's a good place to start practicing boss battles, get used to your weapons, get some more upgrades. Heck, even go get yourself the Mask of the Mother Demon or the Club of the Mother Demon. They're a fantastic mask, and they're a fantastic piece of armor as well as weapon. But nonetheless, that's your next step, guys. After you've gone through and do those ones, go over there to this lab that's over here and fight yourself the assistant manager and get your last key card. Get your last Super Burgle Chip, your manager's key card, and now you're going to be able to start going through and exploring all the different bases. Speaking of exploring all the different bases, there's two you're going to want to hit no matter what. The first one is going to be this base that's right here in the sandbox. This base inside of the sandbox has a couple different things for upgrading inside of it as well as an auxiliary burgle chip for you. Is it going to help you in your adventures? Yes. Should you go and get it? Yes. Is it going to be hard because of the sandbox trying to light you on fire if you go there during the day and a bunch of ant lions? Yes. But there's different ways to get around that. Like go there at night and avoid the ant lions. But anyway, after that, guys, you're actually going to want to make your way back over back into the pond again. Now, this may be questioning to a lot of you guys, because the next lab I'm going to tell you to go to, you're actually going to need to go down in the pond and activate a button. Now, what I'm going to say is from here on out, if you guys have not already played the game a lot, this is where things are going to get a little bit spoilery. Now, there's a base that is inside of the pond over here. No, I'm not talking this awesome dome that's right here. I'm talking this lab that's right here. There is a small lab that's on the wall over here that is completely filled with water. And what you're actually looking for in here is this red button that's lit up in here. You want to press this red button. Now you're probably going to want a guild tube before you come in here to press this red button. And you will need the assistant manager's key card in order to access this door that's right here. But once you get in here and you press this button, it's going to open up a door to a very special lab that is very important that this is your next step in instead of going on with the rest of the story. The lab that I'm talking about, guys, is actually back here inside of this rotten stump. This lab that's right there, that protruding cylinder that's pointing up is actually the entrance to another lab. Now, why is this one so important to do after you've gone through and done the Black Ant Lab? Why wouldn't you just continue on with the story? Don't you know that there's tiger mosquitoes and wolf spiders and ticks and ladybird beetles and ladybird larvae and all of those different things on the way over here, including fire ants? Why would I want to come all the way over here? A couple different reasons. One. You're going to start getting those tier 3 materials in order to make tier 3 armor. That's a good thing to have. Roly-poly armor at this point, probably going to want to be what you have if you're not the best at blocking. Otherwise, if you know your armor set, you know your weapon you like to use, get that starting to build. But come over here, go inside this lab, and find the burgle chip that's in here. Why? Because it's how you unlock tier 3 upgrading. It's how you guys get those supreme plates and supreme whetstones, and you're going to want those for your next battles. Where you're about to go from here is considered the end game. You're going to be fighting end game bosses. You're going to be fighting end game content 
and you're going to need some serious upgraded weapons and armor in order to bring yourself in here. Now, you may be saying to me, Sim, if I just have some upgraded stuff, isn't everything going to be okay? Yeah, it is, but it's still going to be difficult. Now, when you're coming up here, you may be asking me, Sim, what about the rotten, uh, the wood pile over here, the termite hill? What about the termite hill? What about that chip that's in there? It's an extra chip. You can go and get it if you want to. Don't go fight the praying mantis yet. It's going to be a little too difficult to difficult at this point, unless you can get yourself those tier three upgraded materials, then be my guest. Go slaughter the mantis if you want to, but we're talking labs. So the next lab you guys are going to want to do is the undershed lab. In order to get to the undershed lab, you will need to go through and you will need to find Dr. Wendell Tully Scabby. You're welcome. It's right here. That's where it is. You're going to need to talk to Burgle though, after you get all four of the Burgle chips. Once you got all four of the super Burgle chips, you turn them in you're going to talk to that scabby it's going to tell you where dr wendell tully's location is or where he last was and that is when you're going to go through and do the undershed lab now there is a couple things in there there's a black widow in there that will destroy you if you are not careful black widows are notoriously one of the hardest things to fight in the game they are a huge pain in the neck but you guys got this. I know you can. Down on the way through there, which I will do a complete undershed guide over the weekend for you guys. So I can show you where everything is and where everything is to fight. I'll show you guys that. But nonetheless, this is where you're going to want to go next. You make your way all the way through there. You're going to fight one of the end game bosses at the end unlocking your prize and then you're going to make your way out of the undershed lab at that point it is time to get prepped up to beat the game now you could come right over here make your beginning cocktail put it in here and start the process of beating the game You'll need to go through and do a massive defense point to defending all three of these pink locations that are right here on the ground. But if you guys can protect this and you can activate the Javamatic, you can go ahead and now beat the game. That's what you want to do. And you've now gone through and done most of the labs. Now there is a secret lab. I'm going to tell you guys, this is going to be a major spoiler for you guys going forward. But... There is a secret lab that's in here, and no, I'm not talking about the lab that's underneath here. This lab that's right here is a storage, okay? This is a storage for being able to get building materials in order to protect these giant pink things that are over here, okay? That is what that door is. So, don't worry about that door. The one that I'm talking about, guys, is actually over here inside of Moldor Castle. Yes, there is another lab in here. Now, you will need to build in order to get inside of this lab. You can't just jump off something and glide over here. You're going to have to build in order to get over here. The best way that I've seen it is using half plank or half grass floors and just building a straight bridge from here to here it's the fastest way to do it now if you guys go in here and you work your way down this hole that's right here there is a lab that is in here as well this is where another boss is if you guys want to go and fight that boss i'm just going to show you guys the top of it here i don't want to get too spoilery for you guys but yes there is a lab that is in here and this is an optional boss area you do not need to do this in order to beat the game once you've done the beginning cocktail, you can win. That's it. But this is how you get a little bit further, and this is completely optional. But guys, that is the order in which I believe you guys should be doing the labs in Grounded. Now, what I've gone over is a basic path of labs to go through in the game this isn't a complete guide of every step you should take during the game one of those is going to be coming out within the next couple weeks it takes a long time for me to record but i'm working on that already of a full complete guide beginning to end on what you should do in grounded all in one video to get the best results but this is the lab walkthrough oak lab hedge lab pond lab haze lab black ant lab rotten stump lab undershed lab there you go. And then bonus lab at the end. There's eight different labs, guys. Get out there, find them all, and be able to win your game of Grounded at your pay playing pleasure. But, guys, that is going to do it for today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you guys found this one helpful. I really like making these videos where I just get to fly around a little bit for you guys and show you off some awesome things inside of the game of Grounded. But thank you guys so much. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.